Hey guys, so it's officially fall. I wanted to do a little bit of a fall themed gab and get ready with me. So we'll just chit chat about some random stuff going on as I put on my makeup. So let's hop right in. For foundation, I'm gonna go in with this Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. This shade is number 45, light 45. I'm just taking that with one of these. I think this is an Eco Tools blending sponge. I literally just woke up, so I still have like pillow marks <laughs> on my face over here. Time for some concealer. Today I'm gonna try and use this MAC Pro Longwear, but in the past the pump has been, oh, there we go, we got some. <laughs> the pump has been kinda funky lately. Using a little bit of this L'Oreal Hydra Perfect powder all over. The brows, I'm gonna use some Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in my trusty little elf eyebrow brush. And this stuff is getting super duper dry. So, it might uh, actually be fall, it might be October, but today's high is like 75, so I'm wearing shorts, <laughs> and it doesn't really quite feel, I mean it feels like it's kind of starting to a little bit change to fall, but we've had several hot days lately, so it doesn't really feel like traditional fall just yet. But I live in Missouri, and fall winter really just like slaps you in the face it'll like feel like summer 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 and then all of a sudden it's like winter so we get like two days of decent weather in the fall and springtime but winter and summer are pretty much our only seasons so any day now it's gonna be like super duper freaking cold outside i'm just gonna set them with some clear brow gel from anastasia now time for the fun stuff and I want to do some orangey colors to celebrate fall so let me think about what blush I need. Got my trusty little benefit kit here. This is the real cheeky party. Um, I'm going to use some Hoola bronzer just to bring some color and dimension back to my face a little bit. And for blush, I'm gonna go with Coralista, which has a pretty little corally orangey tint to it. But nothing too intense, because I think I'm gonna make the eyes quite orangey. For eyes, I have to lay down some primer, first of all, always. Just a teensy tiny little baby bit. And I'm mostly going to be using the Lorac Pro palette because I love it, but I'm also going to throw in this ColourPop shadow, and I haven't been on the ColourPop website in a long, long time. This shadow is very old, so I don't even know if they still sell this thing, but this is called Erotic, and it is an intense, like, rich neon orangey color. <laughs> so I'm going to start some crease work first of all with Taupe over here. And a little dab of sable, which is just a little darker brown, focused on the outer third there. Now I'm gonna go in with the fun color, and I'm just gonna take it on my finger because these creamy shadows tend to work best that way. I'm gonna place that on like two thirds to the outer part of the lid. I feel like this is pulling a lot more pink than I would have thought from this little pot. So I'm going to go in with, I'm going to take gold right here from the Lorac Pro Palette. I'm going to place that on top and see what it does. I think that looks pretty cool. That 
that looks pretty cool if I do say so myself. I'm gonna go in with light bronze, which is a like a light goldy champagne color. I'm gonna take that into the inner third. This brush is too big. Too big. I need a different brush. La -de -da -de -da. Just kind of blending it over just to make a nice transition there. And I'm gonna go in with white and use that as an inner corner highlight. And cream, which is one of my favorite brow bone highlights ever. I'm gonna take that up under the brow bone and just use it to kind of blend out that crease area a bit. And I am gonna go back in with some darker colors here, like espresso. I need to find a good brush. Espresso, this dark, dark brown. Teeny tiny bit of that because that's a very pigmented color and use that on the outer third of the colorful part. I haven't done a colorful look in a long time, guys. I usually do pretty boring makeup these days, but I have some free time this morning and I can actually play. <laughs> I'm also gonna take that espresso on my lower lash line. like halfway and as always just kind of flick it up to meet it with the upper portion and I got some fallout going on so I gotta fix that I'm gonna use a black liner which I haven't used in a long time this is the Bourgeois Paris Contour Clubbing Waterproof Eyeliner, and I got this from my friend Amy, who lives in Ireland, and I'm not sure you can get it here in America. And for mascara, I'm gonna use some Benefit, uh, what is this stuff called? They're Real. After curling my lashes, of course. that's it for the eyes so I have to decide if I want to do like a really bold like orangey lip or keep it more neutral I'm gonna go more neutral and use 113 from the what is this Rimmel Kate collection once again I have no idea if they even sell this stuff anymore I really need to go through I'm just cleaning my brushes now. I really need to go through and actually get rid of a lot of those ColourPop shadows because it took me a while to find one that wasn't all dried up. I actually need to go through a lot of my makeup. As you heard me say, like, I don't even know if this is sold anymore. I have some stuff that's like really old and totally needs to be uh, tossed out because it's, it's kind of creepy how old some of this stuff is, but yeah, I've still got it. Like I've said in other videos, um, I'm totally not wearing a lot of makeup lately. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to keep up on uh, what stuff is like super old and what stuff isn't. So this is the completed look. I have to go do my hair and I'm ready for my day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it and I'll talk to you next time.